بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيد المسلين وعلى آله وأصحابه وسلم تسليما كثيرا أما بعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته I pray that you all are in the best state of health and faith I would like to extend my heartfelt congratulations to the Muslim community on the upcoming spiritual journey of Ramadan. The Holy Quran speaks about the goal of Ramadan in the following terms. Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu kutiba alaykum al-siyamu kama kutiba ala ladhina min qabalikum la'allakum tattaqoon. All you who believe fasting is ordained for you as it was ordained for those before you so that you might remain conscious of God. Ramadan is not only about, it is not only about abstaining from food and drink or intimate relation, but it is also about reflecting on our spiritual relationship with Allah and with those who are around us. It aims at instilling in us empathy towards our fellow human beings in addition to a sense of mindfulness and self-control. By fasting and avoiding wrongdoing, we learn to control not only our actions, but also our thoughts and our desires. The Prophet ﷺ said in a hadith, مَنْ لَمْ يَدَعْ قَوْلَ الزُّورِ وَالْعَمَلَ بِهِ فَلَيْسَ لِلَّهِ حَاجَةٌ فِي أَنْ يَدَعَ طَعَامَهُ وَشَرَابَهُ which means who does not abandon lies and false conduct, Allah has no need that he should abstain from his food and drink. The Prophet also, peace be upon him, وسلم, used to highlight the significance of fasting Ramadan for Muslims whenever he would congratulate his companions for the coming of Ramadan, he would say, أَتَاكُمْ شَهْرُ رَمَضَانَ شَهْرٌ مُبَارَكٌ فَرَضَ اللَّهُ عَلَيْكُمْ صِيَامَةٌ تُفْتَحُ فِيهِ أَبْوَابُ السَّمَاءِ وَتُغْلَقُ فِيهِ أَبْوَابُ الْجَحِيمِ وَتُغَلُّ فِيهِ مَرَضَةُ الشَّيَاطِينِ لِلَّهِ فِيهِ لَيْلَةٌ خَيْرٌ مِنْ أَلْفِ شَهْرٍ مَنْ حُرِّمَ خَيْرَهَا فَقَدْ حُرِّمْ which means Ramadan has come to you it is a blessed month which Allah has ordained for you to fast. During it, the gates of heavens are opened while the gates of hell are closed. And the rebellious shaitans are chained. Within it, within Ramadan, there is a night for Allah which is better than a thousand months. Whoever is deprived of its blessings is indeed deprived. Ramadan is a month of compassion. It reminds us of the discomfort of hunger and compels us to feel some of the plights of those who around us do not have enough to satisfy their hunger. With the arrival of Ramadan, let us all race toward goodness and compassion towards others. Let us strive this year to achieve a level of fasting, a level of Ramadan that is higher than just abstaining from food, drink, and intimate relation. Let us focus on Allah and try, and try our best to keep our eyes, to keep our tongues, to keep our ears, our hands and feet away from wrongdoing during the days and the nights of Ramadan. So may Allah help us in this task in Ramadan Kareem and Assalamu Alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh.